anger. Being a powerful emotion sometimes flares up quicker than our better judgment can head it off. We feel it rising up within us, leaving only a few seconds for us to choose whether or not to act on it. But once we recognize its appearance and we realize it wants to take over the situation, the wise man or woman restrains it. Anger may feel like lashing out from within us, but love won't let it take a breath. Even God's anger, though always holy and justified, is quickly put behind him after serving its purpose. Our anger, too, though sometimes appropriate, must remain under love's control. Otherwise, it will always want to write the script for what happens next, rather than playing its rightful role under the direction, authority, and restraint of godly patience. If our love is to be like God's love, it must be slow to anger, ready to release, and quick to forgive. Situation. 
situation that is causing the rape and talk about it and, and, and resolve that situation. Well, we have just a minute or so leave, uh, left in this segment, so uh, what it is that you have to say just to cap this off? Well, I think that we should be slow to anger and quick to forgive. If we are slow to anger and quick to forgive, I think we may just go to sleep. Good advice there, Pastor Bears. Great way to end this segment this afternoon. It's now 2.43. Tune in next week, Tuesday. Same place, same time for another edition. 